Your ideal golf ball should give you lots of distance off the tee. It should be dependable and consistent when you're hitting in windy conditions and using your long irons. It should give you a feeling of touch and create a lot of spin with your wedges, and it should also sound great when you're hitting your putts. But how are you supposed to find your ideal golf ball, that one perfect ball that can help you lower your scores and have a lot more fun on the golf course? Especially when you consider that this year in 2024, we had brand new versions of the TaylorMade TP5 and TP5X. We had the addition of the Callaway Chrome Tour and Chrome Tour X. We had a significant update to the Bridgestone Tour BX series. Plus, because premium golf balls tend to run on a two-year product cycle, we still have the 2023 edition of the Strixon Z-Star, Z-Star XV, as well as the Z-Star Diamond Golf Ball. And I haven't even mentioned the number one ball in golf when it comes to sales and usage on the PGA Tour, the LPGA, the DP World Tour, the NCAA, all the elite amateur events, the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. We also have an update now for 2024 of the Titleist AVX. So with all of these premium golf ball offers, Offerings, as well as many golf balls that I haven't even mentioned. How are you supposed to figure out which golf ball is going to be best for your game? It's going to help you make more birdies, avoid big numbers, and get better overall performance on the greens as well as off the tee. I'm going to show you how. The first step in deciding which golf ball is going to be right for you is deciding exactly how much you're going to be willing to spend. Because like some things in life, in the case of golf balls, you're going to get what you pay for. Premium golf balls can easily go for around $50 to $55 a dozen. And if you're going to be someone who loses a lot of golf balls off the tee, if you're new to the game, you're just not ready to make that kind of investment, there's certainly some really good golf balls out there at lower price ranges when you get into $35 to $40, as well as say $20 to $30. There's all different kinds of price ranges. So what are you getting for the extra money when it comes to premium golf balls? Better materials, state-of-the-art aerodynamic packages, and better overall performance. And a lot of that comes down to the coating on the outside of the golf ball. The best premium golf balls out there are going to have a urethane cover. Urethane is a very soft material that's applied over the top of the golf ball. And that soft urethane can be grabbed by the grooves in your wedges and your short irons to create a lot of spin. The material you use to make the cover of a golf ball really doesn't have that much to do with distance off the tee and really with distance with your long irons and your fairway woods. However, the slower the club is going to go, the more you're looking for spin, the more you're looking to try and get green side control, the more you're going to be wanting to get into a urethane golf ball. And urethane simply costs more than the Serlins and Ionomers that are going into more budget-friendly golf balls. Those materials are more about durability. Premium golf balls also are going to have the most modern and most up-to-date dimple patterns in aerodynamic packages. So many of the premium golf balls out there that do sell for more money, they will be more stable in the wind. If you play in an environment where where the wind is strong, there are some golf balls that'll simply hold their line and bore through the wind more effectively than others. You see it all the time where you hit the shot that you're looking to get, a gust of wind hits it and it knocks it off line. Some balls can handle that better than others. Once you have your price range down, you want to buy several different three ball sleeves of as many different golf balls as you possibly can. All the different golf balls you would want to consider in your appropriate price range. But instead of heading out to the tee box and on your golf course, go to the practice area and go around the green. The reason for that is that the biggest difference between one premium golf ball and another is not found in distance off the tee and performance off the tee. It's going to be found in performance around the green, how the golf ball behaves on chip shots, pitch shots, bunker shots. The best players in the world know this because every time a golf ball comes out and a change or a modification is made, either to the formulation of the cover, maybe a difference in the overall compression, how hard or soft the golf ball is, it's going to potentially affect the way that the golf ball performs, the way it feels, the way it sounds on chip shots, on pitch shots, on those bunker shots. And pros know that's where they really need to focus. So instead of heading off to the tee and immediately hitting driver, take the golf balls that you want to test and hit a series of chip shots and pitch shots. Go into a bunker and hit some shots in there. Pay attention to how the ball comes off of your wedges. Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Do you notice that there's a big hop after the very first time that the ball lands when you hit a pitch shot? If you see that big hop, that's backspin. That's the control that you're going to be looking for. If the ball seems to land and immediately skid out more than you would have otherwise anticipated, you probably aren't generating the spin that you could be. The biggest hop, the most spin, again, is going to come from those urethane covered golf balls. And the more full of swing with your wedge shot you're going to get, the higher the spin you're going to generate. So personally for me, I like to hit a series of say like 15 to 20 yard pitch shots to start with. Then I'll go back and I'll hit some longer shots, maybe 50 or 60 yards and trying to gauge exactly how the ball is going to come off and what kind of reaction I'm going to get, how much spin am I going to get. Only after you've put in the time around the green to get a sense for which balls generate more spin for you and the way that you hit your wedge shots and your short game shots, then you go back into the fairway and start considering how you're going to be playing with these golf balls 
with your irons, with your fairways, with your hybrids, and eventually with your driver. The best way that I like to do it is to figure out which two or three golf balls perform the best for me around the green, then I'd head out to the golf course, and I'll play, say, the front nine with one ball, and I'll play the back nine with a different ball. And I'll take a look and see what type of performance I'm getting. Do I seem to carry the ball the way that I want to off the tee? Are my irons holding their line in windy conditions the way that I would expect them to? That's the type of performance I'm going to be looking for. Look, if you'll take the time to thoroughly test out several different golf balls that are within your price range and find out which one from a performance standpoint is going to be best for you, you win. You have found your ideal golf ball. And then the beautiful thing is if more golf balls come out over the course of seasons and then in the course of years, all you have to do is basically test out any of the newer offerings against the golf ball that you already have. You know that it's the best one amongst the, the balls from 2024. But a year from now, when new 2025 golf balls come out, you can just grab one or two sleeves of those, test it against your gamer, and see which one works best for you. So look, don't be intimidated, don't be afraid. This is not that hard. Answer a few questions for yourself, go ahead and buy a few sleeves of different golf balls, head to the practice green, then head out into the golf course, and before you know it, you will have found your ideal and perfect golf ball.